Okay, for this uh, video, we're going to do a uh, eye on top the bender. First, we have to talk a little bit about our tooling that we use because there is uh, there are several options that we uh, that we use. First, we'll talk about the U pins. First, we have the regular U pin. You use that for your larger your larger uh, diameter eyes, and that just fits right in the old bender like so. We're going to be using it up here on the uh, in the so the main part of the pin is in the is in the second hole, and the leg is in the is in the uh, first hole. We also use the uh, for bigger stock. You can also use the uh, the the uh, U pin roller, and that just fits right on there like so. And as you can see, it spins around. That's going to help your stock. That's going to help your stock move. Okay. The other U pin we have is our U pin with a lug, and that's the one we're going to be using today. Uh, as you can see, it has a half inch lug on it here, and that fits just in the first hole and slides right down in there like that. One thing you need to know is that the U pin roller does not fit on there, it's not supposed to. Okay, then we're going to talk about our flathead pins. We have a, one flathead pin is the 17B3, and that's a, that's a regular flat. As you can see, it's straight here on the, uh, on the back side, and that's for your larger diameter eyes also. And then we have the 17B3, which is an offset flathead pin. You can see it's offset a little bit in the back. And what that's going to do is, is let our bending dog come, come around a little bit and get a closer grip to the end. And that's also the one we're going to use today. So we're going to put that guy in there. We're going to use him here in a minute. Uh, then we have the 16B eye bolt bending dog. That's the part that's going to do all the bending for us today. And it also has a 24B thumb nut, and that's our adjustment. Then we also have the 17B or the 18B I pin, and that's gonna that's gonna the uh, the uh, threaded part of the dog is gonna fit through that hole, and that's what holds our adjusting uh, piece. So we're gonna use that today too. So we're gonna put that there. Now we're gonna set it up to make a bend. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the flathead pin with the offset towards the mainframe. So we're going to set him in there like so. We're going to put him in the first hole today because we're going to have to get a little close to the end of our stock. So then we take the eye pin, insert him there, you know, over the flathead pin. And one thing that we need to know about the flathead pin is it is adjustable. So it's going to slide on the, the stock, is, or the piece of the dog's going to slide on there as we adjust that. Well, we want to keep the uh, head of that flathead pin towards the front of the dog. That'll allow it to, uh, to work right, otherwise we put a little too much pressure on it. So then what we do is we take our piece here, and we're going to tighten it up approximately an eighth of an inch, or as close to the end of the stock as you can get. And then we just tighten them down. And he's tight in there. Now we can make our bend. We're going to come around this, and this is a three-quarter inch eye. So we're going to come around here. We're going to close him up, and we're going to release it. Now what we do is we flip our stock around, lay it back over. Now we're going to do what's known as centering the eye. So we come around here, let him hit there. We center him, put a little back bend in him. Now we're going to come around. Now we're going to close him up. There you go an eye on the Hosfeld bender. Put a piece of stock in, like so, and we're gonna tighten the end down. You wanna get about as, you wanna get as close to the end as you can. An, about an eighth of an inch or closer, if, you, if at all possible. Okay, so there we're set up. We have everything locked up and tight. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the bend. We're gonna come around here. We're going to bend it all the way around. Then we're going to release it. Then what we do is we center the eye. So we're going to turn it over, bring it back up. That comes back like that. Then we're going to tighten her up again. And we're going to close her up. There you go. Loosen her up here. And there we have an eye on the Hosfeld bender. 